On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, Groups and Labels in ProPresenter 5. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week we talk about software that we use in the church. My name's Paul Allen Clifford, and I'm your host. I'd love for you to join the conversation. So if you have any questions or comments, put them below the video, whether you're watching on YouTube or TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Either way is perfectly fine. Drop me a line, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, or hit me up on Twitter, Paul Allen Cliff, P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F. Any of those ways is fine to reach me. So let's ha- head on over to ProPresenter 5. So if you recall from a previous video, I was working on A Mighty Fortress is Our God now. Of course, the best reason for me to do that here in these videos is Martin Luther's been dead a good long time. I'm sure he doesn't mind, you know, being that he's with Jesus and all. But Martin Luther has been uh, gone a good long time, and so his song is in the public domain. So that's why I chose A Mighty Fortress is Our God. And I broke it up into verses, but... Down here, we have, this is verse 3 up here, and this is verse 4. So I went to add a label for that group, and there's none for verse 4. Well, I went to group label, and there's none for verse 4. So... The question is, how do you get around that? And secondly, when you're doing this, how do you make sure that they're all in the appropriate group? So first thing that you do is, contrary to what I thought, you don't uh, command shift click. Again, I'm on a Mac. My uh, probably is control shift click on a PC. So you don't command shift click to select that and then right click on it for some reason there's a bug a bug where they didn't all highlight and then uh, change the group because you've only got slide label here but what you do is for the first one in the group you right click it or command click it and right click it either way and now you can change the group label. You can change the group color, of course, but that really is not, cons- it's inconsequential to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the group label, but you'll notice I don't have verse 4. Well, I can go with none, but that's not right. I can go with chorus, but that's not right. What I want to do is go with other. And so what I can do is you'll see I've already typed this in, and what I can also do is click this checkbox, Add Label to Preferences. So if I'm doing a lot of hymns, you know, where I've got more than three verses, that might be what I want to do. But if this is the only one, or, you know, maybe once in a blue moon I'll have one, just to keep it organized, I might want to leave that unchecked. I'm going to check it for now, and I'll show you why here in just a second. So I click OK, and... There we go. It's now verse 4. Now, verse 4 doesn't have a color. So, wouldn't it be great if we could fix that? So, let's right-click on here and group color. Let's turn that to, say, black. I don't know why black. I just hadn't used it up here. So, that's why I chose black. I knew I hadn't used it. So, we've got that, but this slide right here is actually not in the group. So, let's right-click on it, and let's select 
new group. And for the new group, right now we'll do none. Okay, so you see how I've got these grouped appropriately and separated out. Well, what if I'd made a mistake here or something like this and I needed to edit this this group at a color that it's permanently colored as as opposed to just arbitrarily choosing one? What you want to do is go up into uh, the Pro Presenter menu up here and then go to Preferences. You can also command comma to select that and you'll see that here we are uh, you're probably going to come up in general over here let's uh, give it just a second to think about that okay but what you want to click on is label and you'll notice that you actually have some even better features here so first let's start with where we were so let's say that I wanted that to be black. I could put it as black down here, or I could also, let's see here, brown looks like it hasn't been used, so I could turn that to brown. You see how that works? Now, I also have the option that if I decide that, you know, I was just being silly, I don't need verse 4 there, I can click on it and then click on the delete key that's the same spot as the backspace key on a Windows keyboard and that just goes away. I also have the ability that if I wanted to add several I can do that just by clicking this plus sign a few times. So let's say I'm just going through and I'm adding a bunch of really long songs so I've got verse 4 verse 5, verse 6, etc. And, you know, I just go through and I add colors for all of those as well. And so they're all there ready to go. And as I say, just click and backspace, click and backspace if you want to remove those from there, and that's perfectly fine. So that's in the um, labels area. Notice I also have library categories that I can add in here. So, you know, songs, presentation, Bible, speaker notes, PowerPoint. I could add like announcement loop um, performed songs Christmas songs etc. So you can actually do some pretty cool organization there and we've also got these slide labels now slide labels are not groups like verses or choruses or bridges or pre-choruses or anything like that they're individual slides so if you wanted to say turn slide 20 here and say oh well that's an instrumental then you can uh, just change the label of that particular slide to instrumental. So this is another great way and here let me show you how to do that. And slide label instrumental. So this is another way to organize slides. You have groups which are multiple slides. Some people like try and put a bazillion lines on a single slide that's no good you don't want to do that you want to keep it short my church we've typically gone to two uh, or fewer lines but a four is fine six is pushing it I wouldn't go above six but occasionally I'll hear of churches that do 
your eye can get lost in that. So in a situation like this where you have two, four, six, eight, nine lines, if you tried to cram those all onto a single slide, your eye would get lost. So that's why we want to do groups so that we can keep them all organized but put them on more slides for legibility's sake. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope you and your church can use that information as you're going out and changing eternity. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this video. The best way to get these videos is have them delivered automatically, which you can do by heading over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash subscribe. And then you'll get them every week as I upload them. And that's probably the best way to do it because my video hosting only has them up for so long. That's not an artificial scarcity thing. That's a real scarcity thing. So subscribe and then you can collect your own library of these tutorials. So until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.